Hey, hi everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about that how we can handle the request and response in Node.js HTTP module. Right now, what is an HTTP request and response? So, when a client sends data to the to our server, basically, right, it is called a request. Right. And when the server replies back to that particular request, it is called response. Now, how we can handle it using the HTTP module? Let's see. So let's first create a server very far quickly, right? So let me write const HTTP equals to, I will use the require method to take the HTTP module, right? Like this. Now, after that, we will write HTTP dot create server bracket inside this we will create the request comma response now this is what your request and response it it is written inside this create server right after that uh, we put a bracket like this and here we write our code for request and response right and we put it inside a variable that is let's say const server and we want this server to be listened at particular po uh, port that is server dot listen bracket inside this will write 3000 like this got it now this is how we uh, actually create our server now we will look forward to see that how we can handle this request and response right now let's first deal with the request basically so basically there are three main properties in request that the request object contains right the first is url the second is method and third is header let me show you that what is it right so let's first take uh, basically i will just print it inside the console to show you that how the request comes to the server side so we will print that particular request right so just write console.log inside of this we will write what uh, let's say okay let let me just write here the url url comma request we just write this request since everything is stored whatever the request that is coming from the client side basically so everything is stored in this request right so we for getting the url for getting the url by which the request is coming uh, let me explain you first right uh, let's go to this particular terminal as you can see here right so let's say i am my server is running on the port 3000 right so on the port 3000 uh, since it is not started yet right now if i want to make any request i simply write i want the profile so i have written slash profile this is the request that i i am saying to the server that excuse me server can i get my profile so that i am doing with the help of this slash profile now this is called the url of your request and this is get with the help of request dot url simply just like this right now second most important thing is your method so http has four different method basically five different method but we use four what are the name of those five method get post patch put delete but what we normally use is basically uh, get post put and delete we remove uh, we normally don't use the patch uh, in most of the cases right so uh, you can use it also uh, now if you want to print that which particular method of request is this so for that purpose console.log put the bracket and request dot after that request dot method like this fine now after that let me just write the method here so that it is easily visible here put the comma like this now yeah now for the header right the header contain every information about what the uh, what the complete url or the host is right and whatever the header information is that the request is containing everything right so we will simply write console.log put the bracket here here i'll write header like this after that put the comma here and we will write request i hope you understood and you can guess it at your own also request dot headers right like this 
Now, if I print it right inside our console, so we will get to see every information. And after everything, like after every information which get printed, I want my response dot end. This is written in the end, right? What the end statement should be. So all information is gathered, right? like this now uh, let me just start the server let's save it and go to the terminal i will write node script.js and when i press enter you can see nothing happened here right but since our server has started right so what i will do is basically uh, i will go to the new tab and write localhost 3000 since we have started the server at the localhost 3000 which right and if I made slash uh, profile like this and press enter, you can see all information is gathered. This is what your response dot end is, right? That the last statement which you get. Now, you can see this is what I get from the server side, sorry, from the user side when he made the request. So every information, every information, first of all, it is what the Okay, let me take you to the top. So you can see the URL is what your slash profile, the method that you made is get because you are trying to get the information from the server side, right? You are not sending something. So that is get and the header. Header is containing everything that is first of all the host that your host ID is localhost 3000. Your connection is to keep alive and these are all the information about the header, right? So this is what your request is. So there are three main methods in the request, right? Three main objects, sorry. That is request.url, request.method and request.header. How we deal with it? I will explain you in the, after explaining you about what is response, right? So what is this response now? Well, response is the body, is the response body. RES is the response body that we give to the uh, user after that, after taking the request, right? So how we do it? Simply just write response and write like this put the bracket here inside of this we can write whatever the information that we want to give let's say hi my name my name is piyush gupta like this right and in the end you need to give response dot end right this is compulsory now if i just save it and go to the terminal uh, sorry go to the page right where the, i am having localhost 3000 and if i go to the main home page you can see if i reload it okay sorry it has not changed anything because we have to restart our server right so let's uh, restart our server that is node script.js press enter so it has started again and when i restart you can see hi my name is piyush gupta how it is coming to my browser because we have sent this with the help of particular response, right? So this is the response which the browser is getting and that's why you are able to see it as a user at this particular local host, right? 3000. Now, what is mean when I talk about request and response both? So I'm just going to give you a small example. I hope you understood the concept that what is request and response till now, how we handle both the things. Let's understand that also. So I'm saying that if, if request dot URL, right, is equal equals to profile, is equal equals to profile. In that particular case, I want that, uh, like if the user is making the request on that particular, right, in that particular case, I'm saying, to give me uh, some other text and in some other prof uh, tag, give me some other, right? In some other URL. So if the request URL is profile, in that particular case, I want to say that response dot end, response dot end. See, earlier we have used the response dot write, right? But the thing is that either you can use response dot write and then use response dot end, or you can merge both the thing and just simply put all the content of response dot right inside this response dot end. Both the things works fine, right? So I'm here, I'm saying that in case the user go to the slash profile, then you show what? Then you show uh, 
this is the profile information like this and I am saying that else if request.url let's copy it and paste it here is basically a post right so in that particular case I want to say response.end and you give me the information as this is post right this is post and else you give me right uh, write the correct URL so basically we have written a small example code here right so what is it first of all let me explain you that when I go to the request that means to the slash profile in that particular case I will give I will get this response from the server side and if the user make a request of slash post right in that particular case I will get this response and otherwise if you go on any other uh, path right or the URL you will get this particular response this is what we have written right so let's just restart the server and write node script.js in basically in the terminal start it again go to the your local host and restart it again now since it is not having slash profile and slash post so it has given me write the correct url if i write here slash profile in that particular case it will give me this is the profile information you can see here right this is the response from the server if i write post here post press enter you can see and getting the response that this is post which i have written there and if i write anything random here like you can see a lot of thing anything just press enter and you can see write the correct url right so this is how we work with the request and response in our server right in the node.js i hope you understood the concept very clearly uh, this is all about today's video thank you so much for watching goodbye